everyone, I'm Juan with Pure Plumbing and Air. Join us today with our uh, installation for our reverse osmosis to our contest winner, Richard. Congratulations. Join us in the journey of the installation process. If you want to take it away, just kind of explain the reverse osmosis system. So the reverse osmosis actually purifies your water, uh, city water, to uh, really good drinking water. Today, we're going to be installing a the reverse osmosis to the sink countertop, which he already has a pre-drilled hole. So it saves a lot of time when you have one. And we're also going to divert the, the filtered water um, to the uh, fridge. Perfect. So he's going to have the ability to be drinking water at room temperature or uh, really good drinking water in the fridge and ice. Perfect. Sounds good. I'm going to be securing the faucet from down here. This is the faucet already installed. You can dispense it here and hold it up for a steady stream. Right now, I'm actually going to replace the angle stop. The angle stop is the first line of defense for shutting off the water supply to your fixture in this case uh, we're replacing it because the old one is a little bit corroded and this will be more efficient for in the future if, if we need to shut it off for service perfect i'm going to be installing this valve this is actually the valve that supplies water to your reverse osmosis and also allows you to attach any uh, any fixture supply line here perfect. all right so now we already replaced the angle stop we have the installed uh faucet for dispensing the water. Now we're going to go ahead and start plugging in the, the reverse osmosis. So here goes the unit. In this particular reverse osmosis, as you can see, every line is color coded and every one is basically coded for its purpose. The black one is for uh, dark water, which is the one that uh, the, the dirty water that no longer is going to be drink drank. Uh, this is the red supply, it supplies water to the reverse osmosis. This is for the yellow one is for the tank, the tank, and this one is for the faucet itself. So here we go. Black is for waste water. Red is for water feed. The blue is for supplying the water to the reverse osmosis faucet. For dispensing purposes. That one's back here. And the yellow one, we're going to have this one ready for the tank. In this case, we are also going to tee off the water supply to the kitchen, the kitchen supply line here. This is for the fridge. This will supply water to the fridge to make uh, for dispensing the ice and the water. So the unit is now plugged in. Now we're gonna connect the uh, storage tank and then we're gonna test the system right now. Okay, the system is on now. I'm gonna turn on the tank. And these particular systems are already pre-charged. All we need to do is plug them in place. Uh, these are pre-tested at the vendors. Now we just gotta test it, make sure we have running water. And having that little bit of black water is normal. It's just the carbon, the loose carbon that's in the system just needs to purge it out. If you ingest it, no harm done.
And like I mentioned earlier, with these particular faucets, you push down for a controlled stream. If you want to keep it constant, just flip it up. And that's that. I did connect the uh, fridge to the reverse osmosis, so they're going to be having uh, reverse osmosis water as well as ice in, in the fridge. Okay, now that the system is installed, just word of advice, um, there is annual maintenance that's required, just like with any filters. Annual filter replacements are uh, recommended, highly recommended, uh, just to make sure that you're getting that good quality of water throughout the year. So now that the system has running water to the faucet and the fridge, the next step is to have uh, the ice uh, basket, wherever the ice is kept, to be tossed and run some water just to clear that old dirty water out. And now you have that clean water flowing through your system. Thank you, Richard. Ha, 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 ha.